Grain Goat. Rethink the way you sample grain. Learning to operate the grain goat. This is a quick instructional video that will teach you the basics of using your new grain goat successfully for many years. It's important to adjust the strap before using your grain goat. Adjust by sliding the buckles at either end of the strap. We recommend you carry the goat high against your hip for ease of walking. When ready to harvest, lengthen the strap. Scout out the areas you wish to sample. You don't have to collect a complete sample in one spot. In typical conditions, the grain goat needs four minutes to fill the grain sample bin. Try running it for one minute in four locations for better moisture cross sample. When you're operating the grain goat, remember to run the center line of the threshing drum at the bottom of the grain heads. It's very important that you keep your fingers clear of all openings during operation. Your grain goat is equipped with an electric brake for safety. Stop suddenly only during an emergency. During normal operation, stop your grain goat slowly to avoid shear pin damage. Walk forward slowly, keeping the grain goat fairly level. Tipping too far forward or backward will cause grain loss. Different varieties of the same crop will have different threshing characteristics. Running the grain goat at full speed can harvest more quickly, but can cause excessive shattering. Adjust your speed, height, and angle accordingly. You can operate your grain goat either left or right-handed. When operated properly, the grain goat will remove only the grain in the husks from the plant, leaving the head attached. Here you can see a row of wheat that was just harvested next to an unharvested row. Notice the heads are empty with no kernels or husks. Gently shake the grain goat to help the grains pass through the screens. Be sure the grain sample cup is completely full before you close it with the red wheel. Turn the compression knob to squeeze the grain sample. Be careful not to over tighten this knob. The moisture meter will be accurate only with a properly compressed grain sample. Push the power button indicated by the P on the moisture meter. Three horizontal lines appear on the screen. The number four indicates wheat has been selected. The letters RUN will appear on the screen. This sample tested at 13.0. The meter will turn off by itself. To change the crop type, refer to the user manual. Grain Goat. Rethink the way you sample grain.